Hey, welcome YouTubers. Welcome to my channel, Mr. Reef Buster. And on the episode 6 of the Project Nano Reef. On this episode, you guys will get to see the finished product, the tank, and the sumprefugium, and the plumbing, and everything. I'll show you guys detailed video. It'll be a long video, so um, bear with me. I went, I went into details because I wanted you guys will see the all the process uh, how it went into to uh, having getting this build done um so bear with me uh, so as you guys already can see you're looking at the finished product the 22 gallon uh lagoon style nano reef tank um with the plumbings already in it uh but Later down the video, I'll show you guys uh, the planning stages for the tank as well. I'll sh and then I'll show you guys the planning stages for the sump refugium, which is going to be very important for those of you that are looking to tackle some something like this if you haven't done this before. Um, now, this tank, the length, the dimensions are 18 by 24. Uh, 24 is the width, 18 is the length, and the height is about 11 and a half inches. Um, the glasses that I use all around it are quarter inch glasses, but the bottom glass is 5 8 of an inch. So I went with the thicker glass for the bottom. Um, I didn't want to go with a little uh, thicker glass because it um, defeats the purpose. Uh, but these glasses are all uh, tempered glasses, uh, except for the one on the back because the back glass I need to drill some holes into it. So you can't drill holes if it's already tempered. So though the black glass is the only glass that is not tempered, all the other three, all other four pieces are tempered glasses. It does cost a little bit more so if you go with tempered glasses, especially if you go to from a glass shop. But I just wanted to show you guys the silicone job. I'm gonna. Show you guys will see the silicone job in detail. Keep in mind, this is the first time I'm working with silicone. I've never done a silicone job in my life. Rather, you know, let, let alone build a tank or a sump refugium. So this is my first project. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, so. Let's get to the planning stages for this tank. I'll show you. You guys are going to see right now. Uh, as you can see, the glasses, I just got them cut. This is when I had brought, brought them in. I put masking tape on it on the edges to make sure all the silicone um, gluing is even. So this way um, it doesn't you know silicone doesn't come out especially if you're first time doing it you are gonna mess up you're gonna get silicone on your glass now what i should have done is mask the whole interior side of the glass because i did still end up getting some silicone on the glass now this as you right now is just a finished product right here um You'll see silicone smudges all around the tank. I'm going to show you guys close-up look of the um, of the silicone job that I did and the and the holes. Now I'm pretty I was pretty satisfied with my silicone job considering this is the first time I work with silicone. Uh, I, even though I did get some smudges on the silicone smudges on the tank on the glasses, I was able to remove them using a heavy-duty glass cleaner. Um, I'm gonna leave it on the comment on the description below the the product that I used, and you also have to use bl a sharp blade to get all that excess silicone off. So here's a you know view of the tank. Um, I just filled it with water right here, and I'm just checking uh, make sure there's no leaks on this tank um, because you don't want the, to be leak after you put all the sand and the livestock and the salt water in it so this is me making sure the tank is waterproof and let's go back out and take a look at the finished product i'm going to talk about the plumbing on this tank um, as you can see i went with flexible pvc tubing this is a new type of products called flex pvc um, i all these equipments uh, i got them from marine depot great shout out to them uh, and their staff members they've been very helpful over the phone helping me pick out all these plumbing supplies and all the other equipment that I purchased from them as you saw in the previous episode um, so I'm going to give you guys a quick rundown of how the plumbing is going to work so as you can see the overflow box um, there's two two drainage the one with the red PVC is the backup and the one without it is the main drainage 
and let's I'm gonna open up the top and show you guys how the water is gonna work so what water is gonna come through the front right there the grill and come out through this little hole and then go down this main drain tubing um, and that's the backup one on the left now all these tubing the main drainage tubing are one inch P, uh, flex PVC tubing and for the return tubing it's quarter uh, three quarter inch uh, return so let's get started so the main tubing on the right uh, this water is going to come down through that into the union slip right here and then into the there's a ball valve so I can control the flow of how much water is being uh, drained out of the tank and after that there's another union slip and then right into the back of the on the main first chamber of the protein uh, the sump refugium and as far as the return goes um, there's a CTA right there and quarter inch PVC tubing will come up and go all the way up through the quarter inch bulkhead out through the oh there's also forgot to mention there is a check valve in there make sure you guys always put a check valve you never want to back siphon uh, with the return piping so make sure you do that and the right there as you can see that's a return after it goes out um, now let's go ahead and t talk about the planning stage for the sump refugium. Um, this tank I got, this is a 20 gallon Aquion tank I got from Petland, paid about $40 for it. Um, and I'm going to show you guys, give you guys the specs. Um, right now you're seeing with uh, all the equipment in it so I can size out all the chambers properly and the baffle sizes. And I'll get into the details right now. So let's go ahead and take a look to see how we're doing everything. So, it'll have three main chambers as always, um, protein skimmer, sump refugium, and the return. In But in between the sump refugium return, I'm going to have an act two extra uh, mic smaller uh, chambers that I'll talk about that uh, in later down the video. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now, my protein skimmer is right there. And right behind, next to it, outside will be the... The, the Fosband reactor and right behind the protein skimmer I'm going to have the pump for the Fosband reactor and behind that we'll have space for the filter sock. Now as far as baffle goes, first baffle 11 and 3 quarter by 4 inch. Now there's going to be two baffles in the first baffle. So baffle 1 and A and B. The 2 inch gap in between the baffles and the length I'm um, 11 and 3 quarter is from the front of the glass to the back. Even though it is actually 12 inches, the reason I went with 11 and 3 quarter because you because you want to leave a little bit of gap between the glass and the baffle so the silicone can bond properly. You never want to do an exact size uh, of the inside dimension. It'll always give yourself a quarter, uh, one, you know, one fourth inch, um, quarter inch of a gap so the so the silicone can bond properly. So that's baffle one. Um, now as far as the water level for the main chamber um, as you can see there's a gap between the two baffles that's how the water is going to go from the first chamber into the refugium section and I'll get into it why because the reason I did it that way because I that's how I have my my other uh, sump refugium set up my 45 gallon so that's the I like it that way that's why I designed this way this one very similarly with a two inch gap in the middle sufficient uh, gap for the water to get through uh, but four inch uh, baffle in the bottom will make sure no sump no mud or miracle or anything goes in there now as far as uh, the reason I didn't do over because that means I'd have to do another uh, baffle uh, for the bubble trap. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to limit as many baffles as I can, give more space for the sump refugium se section. So I went with the through water going right through the middle. Now, now the first baffle will not dictate the water height level. Recommend the height level for the protein skimmer chamber. Now, uh, with the with Reef Octopus BH50, the recommended height is 7 inches. Uh, I'm going to do about 8 inches water height on the first chamber. And the, what the, re, on the baffle that will dictate the water chamber for that first chamber is not going to be the first baffle because there's a water gap right in the middle. It'll be the second baffle. And I made an error 
uh, with the sticky notes as far as the baffle sizes. I switched out the baffle sizes for baffle number two and baffle number three. I'll show you guys that in a bit. So even though it says seven inches, I'm going to do eight inches. If I need to, I can always raise the protein skimmer. I have that option. Now with the baffle two, um, even though on the sticky notes it's 11 three quarter by eight and a half, it's actually 11 three quarters by eight inches. Um, I switched out the baffle uh, two and three uh, for, I made a mistake, so that's why I switched it out. <laughs> but to so the second baffle, the eight inch baffle will dictate the water height. And as you can see, that's right there from the bottom up. So the water's gonna go over that that's the baffle size right there, if, uh, but keep in mind that's eight inches. Um, so the water, that's what's going to happen is the water's going to go over it into this uh, this little my um, smaller chamber that I have. That's where I'm going to put my NO3 uh, plate. Uh, I I'm sized out my plate and I gave a two inch gap between in there so I can fit the NO3 plate in there. So. After the water goes through the NL3 plate, it's going to go down, and then that's where the third baffle comes in. Um, third, it'll go under the third baffle, then over the fourth baffle, and then into the fine, the sm another smaller chamber. That's where I'm, I'm going to have my media bags, like um, two inch gap right there. Uh, that's where I'm going to put. Uh, like my Kimmy Pure bags or any other type of media bags that I want to throw in there. And I'm going to put an egg crate on the bottom to make sure they're not bags are not sitting on the ground. So after that, well, I'll go through the bottom and into the final chamber where the return is. So let's go ahead and take a look at the dimensions again. So baffle number three is actually 11 three quarters by eight and a half inch, which is with a two inch gap on the bottom. So the water could pass to the bottom into baffle number four, and that's what the bubble trap is. So baffle one, two, three, and that's where you, I'm showing you already marked it out. So two inch gap on the bottom, eight and a half inch baffle, and then the baffle after that, the bubble or where the bubble trap is, one inch gap for that bubble trap, number four, baffle number four, where it's gonna go over, and that is 11 three quarter by seven and a half inch. So after it goes through that, that's where the media bag bags will be, and go under it. And the final baffle is gonna be 11 three quarter by six and a half inch, with the two inch gap on the bottom. I forgot to write that on the sticky pad. So now that we talked about all of that, let's go ahead and take a look into the, uh, the final finished product. So this is right here. As you can see, I finished siliconing all the baffles in. Um, the silicone job for the, pro the sun perfusion is really hard, especially for those three baffles in the middle because they're so close together. It's hard to, you know, precisely do the silicone um, job, make sure it's smooth. Uh, what I used was a pen. Um, to stick it in and smooth out the edges. So let's take a look. So the spacing worked out pretty fine. As you can see, the protein skimmer has space right next to it. Is the pump for the uh, GFO uh, for the phosphate reactor behind it? I still have space for my filter bag where the pump will, you know, the drainage will come in. Now uh, the flex PVC comes out to the filter sock. So after that the water um, let's take a look we're going to take a look into the middle chamber right there the two inch gap and then the water will pass through that gap and into the refugium section that's where i'm going to have the miracle mud the kato and from that on it'll go up the eight inch uh, baffle number two it will fall, go over the eight inch baffle number two and into the NL3 plate that I'm gonna put right there. And si the sizing worked out perfect. And then into the, through the, and that baffle will dictate the water level in the first chamber. Like I mentioned before, eight inches is the, gonna be the water level for the first chamber. So after the water goes over the baffle number two through the NL3 plate, um, into baffle number three with a two inch gap on the bottom and then baffle number four is the bubble trap three and four are the bubble trap one inch gap 
So after it goes through the final bubble trap, it will go into the final uh, smaller chamber. And that's where I'm going to have the media bags like I mentioned. And as you can see, I put a uh, silicone and egg crate, um, two inch uh, egg crate, silicone it in place. And the finally the water will go under that and then into the final chamber for the return back to the main tank. So that's it guys i just want to give you guys a quick video on how the whole setup is working i try to be as detailed as i can uh, if you have any comments or suggestions leave it on the comments below i do appreciate it subscribe if you haven't and for those of you that are in new york or anywhere nearby i will be attending reefer palooza this year on saturday june 24th so hopefully i'll see you guys there um, you know, if you have, if you don't, can't make it in, I'm going to do a video on my, you know, visit to the roof Palooza. So stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please subscribe. There's more videos coming. I appreciate you guys watching the video and until next time, happy, happy reefing guys.